What's good, YouTube? It's your boy NFZ Kai, and we back with another video. And tonight, we finna be reacting to Nuke's Top 5. And by what the title says, 10 scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm gonna keep it about. I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm not scared of demons. None of that. But <coughs> bless me. Um, let's get into it. Beth England. Soon after moving in, Shireen's daughter, little Ilea, begins to complain about a man with a quote bad head and bad eyes who marches through the upstairs hallway. What is it? Bad eyes. Bad eyes? Yeah. Bad eyes. Bad eyes. Bad eyes? Nah. You better listen to that baby. This ain't no joke. Babies be seeing stuff that we don't see. Listen to that baby. Natalie Nanchan. Eyes. Yeah. Where? Hmm. Yes. Upstairs, nope, no, we're not doing this. Shireen decides to take a look into yes, the history lives. of the old house and yes, discovers that it was built on an ancient battleground from all the way back in 1485. The worried mother now believes that her daughter might be seeing the spirit of a soldier who fought in battle. Shireen installs a security camera in the hallway just to see what's going on. Then one night after dark, That's good. You listen to this happens. Head. You seen it. Now you're tweaking out. You was up here thinking, hey, hey, hey. you thought the baby was playing games, huh? Now you see it. Look at you. Yeah. Come on, now, let me help. <laughs> Mom, get. What is it? Dad. What? Get. Scared of what? Who is it? No. Is someone there? Yeah, but bad eyes. Two eyes. Oh, Lord. But two eyes. I'm low-key getting Hi. chills. Hi. I'm getting chills Hi. from just watching this. Hey. Hiya. Hi. You doing anything? What's he doing? Right, see you later, Mr. Soldier Man. Tell me, it's like babies really got some superpower, bro. Because the lady can't. Well, she did see it. Then it's like the baby could see it, like, constantly. Poor baby. Poor mm. baby, bro. Mm. And it's whispering. Are you laughing at him? Is he being funny? <laughs> is he being funny? That's good, isn't it? You're still looking at someone. Oh my God. She's... <laughs> what? Well, no, please don't hear me. Stop. It's okay. Okay, sorry, you just scared mummy. Sorry, sorry, you just scared mummy. It's not scary. It's not scary. He's a funny friend, isn't he? Nah, you scared. You scared. You just not trying to piss the thing off. You scared. He's a funny friend. Yeah. Yeah. Two eerie breaths can be heard loud she enough said, that no. they are picked up by the hallway security camera. Mm -mm. It's the same thing. Shortly after this, little Ilea once again complains about the man with the quote, bad head and two eyes. 
Shireen says that originally she completely fell in love with the charming Victorian home, but now has second thoughts about staying. She says she's worried about the safety of her daughter. So is little three-year-old Ilya seeing something that we just can't? You decide. Yeah. Yes. I don't ever have to worry about running out of contacts. She most definitely because is. Because with the 1-800 Contacts app, ordering yes. online is a breeze. Graveyard. This next video was posted to the internet by an account that is devoted yeah. to sharing videos of large boats and seafaring vessels. In one video, we see a graveyard of old cruise ships that have been run aground and left abandoned on a beach somewhere in Turkey. But there's something else. Something that a sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted in the video. Watch closely. Don't go investigate. Don't investigate. Did you see it? On board the rusting old cruise ship on the right, someone or something can be seen walking around inside. Even though the ship is completely nah. abandoned, no one is on board and there's not even any access to get on the ship. So could this mysterious figure be the ghost of someone who didn't survive their voyage? Let me know what you think. I don't know. The Night Visitor. A woman named Shay works as an overnight office cleaner at a mid-sized company in Indiana. Shay says that she often works alone in the large office building and that this can sometimes get just a little bit creepy. But this one particular night, things are about to get absolutely terrifying. That's why um, you would never see me working overnight at any type of hospital or anything bro because there's always something could it gotta be some other people there with me i'm not about to, i'm not about to be there by myself hey come on bro fine yeah okay so tell me why i'm at work and i was about to take out the trash and i just got a text from um the lady who um the lady who works here and she said, hey, Shay, just want to let you know that everyone has left, so um, you can go vacuum the other side. I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. And she said, just me there? No, I asked, I said, just me there? She's like, yes. Y'all, I'm scared as f Because when I went outside, there are no cars out there besides my work van. Wow. And I'm so scared. Mm-mm. So mm -mm. tell me why. Mm-mm. No matter how much you, no matter how much you paying me, bro, I'm not doing it. Not doing it, bro. You got to fire me. You got to fire me. I'm not doing it. If I'm the only one here, who the f is this? Like, where? Who the f is that? Like, hello. Uh, Y'all, I'm not tripping. That's somebody oh. that's home and they just in there. Nah, somebody said they. Get like, out that building. They just sitting there. Get out that building, lady. Get out Girl, that building. I'm about to fing call because I'm Yo, like. Oh, I'm. And I just call her and say, hey, I got sure chills, bro. She's like, yeah, look at the cameras. You're the only one that. I got chills. What the heck? Yo, why my body started feeling like that? Yo, leave. Leave that job right now. Leave. Leave, why are you just there? I'm seeing about a car there, and I said, Someone is in one of the booths. And she was like, In the booths? I was like, Yeah, someone is in one of the booths. What the? F what the? Y'all ain't no lock on this door. Hey, oh, there's no lock on this door. Oh, like, stay know, in it. Like, right? Stay in it. Stay in it. Don't I you. So I wouldn't right, either. I'm gonna tough it up and just open the doors. No, come. Crap. Ah, uh, bro, you being white right now, bro. Uh, uh, -uh. Nope. Oh. nope. Nope. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god.
My eyes start watering a little bit. Yo. Yo, Hell no, bro. The closet in here just opened. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh boy, I got chills. Oh, my eyes watering, bro. Hell no, cuz. Uh uh, nope. Shay oh, is supposed home. to be all alone in the building, but someone or something seems to be sitting in a chair pressed right up against a glass door at the end of the hall. They're Whoa. not moving and they're not reacting. Oh my god. Shay hides in the closet, gathers her courage, and then heads out oh to confront the person. Why is my but there's no one there. Y'all think I'm lying, bro. Look at this. Y'all see this, bro? Yo, this is the most creepiest shit I ever fucking seen, bro. With that, she is said about bro. enough. She calls her supervisor to come check out the office building for an intruder. I'm or still crying, whatever bro. this is. And she takes the back stairs and exits the building. But here is where it gets really weird because Shay's supervisor comes and checks out the entire building and finds no one there. Also, what? her supervisor reviews the security camera footage that monitors anyone entering or leaving the building. Look at this, and whoever bro. whoever this person was, they never left. This person never showed up on any of the building's security cameras. Yo. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be per This is some scary shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, nothing had me in tears like this before, bro. This is some real scary shit. It's scary, bro. Perfect for the top five. Send it to me oh. at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Off the wall. In an email sent to me by Nukes Top 5 viewer Ricardo, he told me about a trip he and his brother took to the historic Fort of San Felipe in Bacalar, Mexico. On the trip, Ricardo filmed a video with his old Nokia <sighs> potato phone and he and his brother can be seen exploring the massive old 1700s fortress. They accidentally catch something that they just can't explain. Yeah, what's going on? Did you see it? No. In a dangerous section of the historic fortress that's closed off the tourists, a strange brown figure can be seen oh! on the grass and seemingly climbing or floating right over the wall. Now, I've carefully inspected this clip. I've slowed it down and I've even sharpened and enhanced the potato quality as much as I could. But I still have no idea what this is. So, I leave it up to you. I ain't gonna lie. That look like the Royal Arcade. Nuke Stop 5 viewer and paranormal know. investigator Emma from the YouTube channel Twin Look Three UK reached out to us about a creepy video they captured while investigating the Royal Arcade in Keefley, West Yorkshire, England. The Royal Arcade is an historic underground shopping center built in 1901. The upper floors of the Royal Arcade were eventually renovated. However, the dingy old underground stores and rooms were left untouched. These buildings with their dark history still look almost exactly the same as they did in the early 1900s. Emma says that she and her group were doing a spirit box session in what was once the shop of a horse saddler. In this area, the spirit of a grumpy old man named Billy is said to wander around. What happens next is truly creepy. Oh yeah, I need to hear this. Make that bang again. South. South. Please stop. Please stop. Why do you want us to stop? What you mean? You said stop. Emma and her group are shocked to see what looks like a figure moving through a lens flare caught on their phone. The investigators oh. try to recreate and even debunk what they captured, but they just can't reproduce this strange silhouette of a person moving. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. 
we'll never sure know, man. Our enemy is unclear now. What do you want us to do about it? Protect us. A dark know. park in the San Pedro Mall. Security guard Johan Zimmel is working the night shift at the San Pedro Mall in San Jose, Costa Rica when he spots something truly chilling. Oh! No! What the hell? Make sure you show him that footage. Motherfuckers be thinking that they're gonna think you crazy. The security or camera pointed at the mall's parking structure captures the moment a dark, shifty silhouette of a person can be seen approaching an unsuspecting man. The man turns around as if he hears or feels something, but no one's there. And the weird figure seems to have just disappeared into thin air. After the security footage was released online, many former employees of the mall came forward to share their own personal paranormal experiences from their days working there. Many of these former workers claim that the mall is haunted after someone passed away on the fourth floor of the parking structure. Lights out. One afternoon, Rachel Navarro is home alone in her New York City apartment. Due to maintenance issues, the power in her building has temporarily been shut off. And this is when things what just start fuck? to get really weird. Hell no. Nah. Okay, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just watching something, but literally, hold on. There's no electricity in our place right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Turned it off, but I swear, shite. Okay, this door, Jesus. Are you finna open the damn door? That's just why I dislike white people, bro. You gonna go open the damn door and something is up there hitting at your door. Has been doing this literally all day. And look, that's shite. Oh my God. Hello? Oh! Hold on, hold on. I'm going out there. You see what I'm talking about? This is why people be dying. This is why people be dying, bro. You see, so you told us I'm going out there. Like, is you okay? Is you okay, lady? What is your problem? Like, you need Jesus. What is your problem, lady? I'm not even scared of it. It's just making me mad now, bro. I turned the flash on because I couldn't see right out there. I have my epic mace. It's on. Okay. I swear. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what you really need. You need him. Jesus. You really need him. This door always moves because of the wind. I'm not really. Oh really my god! That way, too dark, man. Hello. Hallway, too dark. I'm ready to get back in the freaking room. <laughs> I'm about to get real upset. Oh, oh, Fucking dumbass! <laughs> Just told you get back in the damn the damn house, bro. Just told you. What is wrong with this lady, bro? Go like, ha 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 What's so funny about it? What's so funny? Is you okay? 
That no, no. Rachel's front door is shaking on its own, and when she yeah, looks Rachel, the peephole, something wrong with Rachel. Something can be seen moving around nah. on the other side. No, 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 no. She something grabs her pepper wrong spray and opens the door. Something wrong with Rachel. No one there. Rachel Just a issue. creepy pitch black hallway. Then Rachel hears what sounds like someone breathing and whispering in the hallway. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wanna know what it was whispering? Jesus. Understandably, she turns around and heads right back inside. As a Nuke Stop 5 viewer, Rachel decided to email us about her creepy experience. To this day, she still has no idea what was going on in her hall. Getting eight ads every 20 minutes is actually diabolical. Meet Rachel got issues. That actually works on Twitch, aka. No vacancy. This next creepy video was recorded at a small hotel in the desolate countryside of Mexico. Now for years, the staff working at the hotel have witnessed and experienced unexplainable activity, now, I love mad usually creepy. when they're all alone. One day, a housekeeper notices someone standing at the window of hotel room number 30, even huh? though the room should be vacant and completely empty. The housekeeper immediately notifies the hotel manager, but they find no evidence of anyone inside that empty room. That is, until later that same day. Aquí más cerquita. Aquí más cerquita. Sí, miren, ahí se ve, se alcanza a ver una cara, unos ojos. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver ahí esa habitación. I'm getting real upset just watching this video. It's supposed to be scary. Why they keep investigating, bro? Why they keep investigating? I see something that's not supposed to be there, bro. I'm a film. Then I'm a dip off. I'm not finna go investigate. I could go check that now. Nah. No, you got problems, lady. You got problems, lady. Do you talk about going inside the... Blood pressure. Yeah. I'm ready to get over this video, as the manager approaches the hotel room, a pale face with hollow eyes can be seen peering down at her through the hotel window. The manager hurries upstairs and into the room, but she discovers that the face, or whatever it was, has disappeared. They heard the biggest moves, sound. making a loud sound and sending the frightened woman rushing right out of the room. Yeah, because she went to hotel staff believes that they have caught evidence that their small hotel in Mexico is haunted. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Man, she just paid. She got proud. In a flash, there's a lightning storm just outside Amanda Knowles' house in Iowa. She looks out her front window and notices something truly bizarre please tell me y'all see this just watch watch straight out into that yard look you see it look oh and it happens again look 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 see, see? oh and i'm telling you right now ignore my dogs but look man no 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 don't ignore the dogs the dogs see it too don't ignore the dogs Dogs can also see stuff that we can't see. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore them dogs. I think it's Keep barking. A strange yeah. white figure can be seen standing in the grass across the street from where Amanda Smart lives. Smart lady. But whoever or whatever. Smart lady. She didn't investigate. She used the black people word. Time to move. Yeah, it's a very smart lady. Props. This is, it appears, and then just disappears as the storm rages on. 
Some viewers of Amanda's creepy video wonder if the electrical energy in the air could have somehow helped make a paranormal presence visible. Hmm. Possible. But whatever this is, Amanda says she is spooked. The Old Baraboo Inn. I would have been Paranormal investigator too. Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted Old Baraboo Inn located in the scenic city of Baraboo, Wisconsin. The inn was built in 1864 and functioned as a tavern and a brothel. Over the years, the seedy inn became a regular hangout for many underworld figures like Al Capone and other notorious gangland criminals. Over the years, it is said that many people fell victim to the inn's sinister clientele, and many men, and even women, have lost their lives here. Today, the old Baraboo Inn is said to be extremely haunted, especially in the basement where it is said oh, that many men were chained to a pole nah. and executed by the mob. That pole oh, still no. stands today, oh, a remnant no. of the building's horrific past. Oh, no. So. Investigator Ian decides to spend a night at the inn, planning to investigate all the paranormal claims. It's still early into the night and Ian is exploring the Baraboo Inn's bar area when things start to get a little spooky. Are there any spirits? Yes, it's spirits, bro. Hanging out at this bar tonight? I heard this place is... Supposed to be really haunted. Could you show me what they're talking about? The stories of strange things happening? I'd like to see it for myself. Is there anybody here that can oh, do yeah, that for me? Oh yeah, you will, you will. Oh. oh my God. That sound came from over there. Yeah, they all sitting at the table right now, That's watching. Scary. They're watching you at the table. Hello? If that was you, could you make that sound again? Oh, jeez. Yep, they there. For sure. Okay, I'm yep. hearing all kinds of weird sounds. You know me. <laughs> Time to wrap it up. You showed me enough. Show me enough. In here. Ian continues his investigation and heads into the inn's kitchen. But what happens next is truly bizarre. If there's anyone in here, could you show yourself? You sit. Dude. What the what? fuck was that? Dude, you still there. Hello? Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, something just got thrown. Ah, that was a spoon. Lucky it wasn't no knife. What the hell was that? Look at that. What the f is that? Oh my god, that's like a spoon. It's on the floor. Like, how is that impossible? I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of this. Everything that is happening to me right now is far beyond what I was expecting from this place. Ian is freaked out as kitchen utensils can be heard moving on their own and a ladle is thrown onto the floor. But the worst is still yet to come because next Ian heads down into the basement, the most actively haunted area of the old Baraboo Inn. This is the room. Oh God, there it is. You see that? That is the pole. The execution pole. If the mobsters took you in this room, you knew you were done for. Just imagine what would be going through those victims' minds as they're being dragged into this room and placed here. And if you look closely here, you can see all the different bullet holes See that there's a bullet hole right there, right there, right there. They're just all over this pole. And those are blood stains seeping through the paint. Is 
It's super tense in here. So real cold in there, too long. Sounds like somebody's down here with me. Who's out there? Got issues, dude. Oh, God. Oh, got shit. issues, dude. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Leave. It's coming from this room. Again. We're in the basement, bro. The pole room. Creepy ass shit. I can hear you over there. No, nope, by the way, here. bro. Did a great I job with this video. But it, it's some, it's some people that don't that really got a brain. Heavy, bad feeling again. If you're one of the mobsters, make another sound. Oh, oh, oh God. Jeez. This is the last spirit I want to encounter right now. Could you do it again a little louder? Oh, holy. Oh my God. That was a black mass. Okay, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. But it's a freaking dead end over here. I can't get out this way. Ian is terrified as he sees a dark shadow like figure move near the infamous execution pole in the basement. He's able to calm himself down enough to follow the dark figure but he finds nothing and no one to explain what he just saw. Soon after this creepy event, Ian decides that he's what had about fuck? enough, and he just heads home. You can see this full investigation with many more scary oh, moments over on the YouTube on. channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Oh, I got chills, man. I got chills. Bro. That was creepy as fuck. It was like I was really getting upset at the same time. Then it was like I was scared. And I'm sorry about the cussing too. I, I'm just real aggravated and scared. Well, scared and mad. You feel me? Yeah. But, um... I appreciate y'all watching this video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Click that, I'm telling you, click that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We on the road to 600 followers. Not, not followers. Subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm off this, man. Nah, I'm flabbergasted.